Good morning. It is Friday, January the 21st, 2022. Today is day 20 of our 40 days of prayer. These were written by and produced by our parent denomination, the Alliance. Today's devotional is entitled, Enlivened by the Spirit of Christ, and was written by Paul Smith. The key verse is Romans chapter 8, verse 11, that says this, But if the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through the Holy Spirit that lives in you. Paul Smith writes these words, As Christians, we are not called to a life of superhuman effort. We are called to a life that, humanly speaking, is impossible. Listen to the words of Jesus. Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Matthew 5.44 Humanly impossible. Here are also the words of Paul. Forgive one another just as God in Christ has forgiven you. Ephesians 4.32 Once again, humanly impossible. So where does this leave us? Are we destined for a life of discouragement? No. We are destined for and called to a life of dependence upon the Holy Spirit, who makes the impossible possible in the life of believers. Romans 8.11 says, And if the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to our mortal bodies through his Spirit who lives in you. The context of the verse is victory over sin for the life of the believer through life in the Spirit. As we know, there is no victory over sin in the Christian's life through human effort. God provides the victory that he desires for us through himself and through the gift of the Holy Spirit who lives in the heart of every believer in Christ Jesus. What challenges are you facing today? Where do you turn when the issues around us or the challenges within us overwhelm us. As Christians, we are called to a life of dependence upon the Holy Spirit, who makes possible the impossible. Praise be to God. So there are again three prayer points for again today. Number one, ask the Lord to open your heart to the ways you need to lean on him today. Number two, Pray that he will open your eyes to what he wants you to see and experience. And number three, ask the Holy Spirit to reveal areas of challenge. Pray for strength to lean on him and not on yourself. Let's pray. Father God, again, we thank you that as we enter January, as we enter a new year, 2022, we can look to you. We thank you for these 40 days of prayer and these devotionals. Father, we thank you that you have called us to the impossible, but you've made it possible by depending upon your Holy Spirit. Be with us today, we pray, for it's in Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Again, please share these so that others may enjoy them as well. We'll see you tomorrow.